probably be easy when you just die. I'm Chewy Me, Chewy Mew, and welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mew video where today we're going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider Man Across the Spider Verse Spider Gwen figure. And spoilers, the figure's not in the box, and that's because I already took her out of the packaging. Spoilers. Um, and here's the figure here. Um, yeah, so this figure actually has been customized a little bit. You can tell sort of by the torso, it looks kind of different. Uh, for the sake of this review, I'm going to be I'm going to be going over the figure as to how it looks with uh, the original articulation. I did modify the torso to have a, a better like diaphragm joint, um, and the figure also does not come with this cool web accessory. This actually came with the six dollar version of the figure. Basically, the only difference is less articulation, less accurate costume, but you get this really cool web accessory, and it also had this really cool head sculpt. Which this figure, oops, I took fig I took the whole figure's a whole. Never mind. I actually took the figure's body apart. Um, there we go. So she doesn't come with that head. She comes with these two heads, which I think are a little less interesting. Um, I think the best accessory this figure comes with, if you can even count it in, as an accessory, I mean, technically not, because it's part of the figure, is the unmasked head. So I'm going to do the review with the unmasked head, because I like this one more. Oh, man. Yeah, see, her torso does pop, because the way I, I must, I modified it. I, I must have fied it. I customized it and or modified it so the diaphragm joint actually works. So it looks kind of messy in there, but we're not going to be looking at that part here. So, yeah, her head doesn't really fit straight on her body because the, the hair. Um, Put that on like that. And then she did come with this piece. This is actually the articulation piece she comes with. This one has a ball joint that goes into the, into like the, the, the lower diaphragm. This one goes into the chest part. The one she came with is this. And this one offers less posability. That's why I, I changed it. So for now, she can't really stay together. But we're going to pretend like she can. So she looks pretty cool with this head. Let's take a look at this face first. Uh, so I think it looks pretty cool. It's definitely the best, the better uh, out of the two head sculpts. Let's take a look at the other one. It, it looks pretty cool. Like, it looks pretty accurate to how she looks in the movie. They use two separate pieces for the hair. Like this uh, this light or darker blonde color. For like the, her shaved kind of looking head. That That's a separate color from a thing on my hand it's separate color or separate plastic from this hair piece they did add a little bit of like shading to it only on the top of the head but it looks like it has like speckles here like dots it doesn't look quite like they painted it the rest of the figure rest of the head for the and the figure for that matter doesn't have any of that as well why is the camera not focusing this is the worst i'm gonna do that there we go and then she has like the pink highlights here and you can kind of see where it blends together either they did that on purpose and they're trying to make it look like the hair blends together or it just, um, they just painted it and it looks kind of sloppy. Either either one would work. The face looks pretty cool. Just like the piercings on her eyebrow. You can see she has freckles. Let's actually zoom in times three. You can see there's like, it's hard to see. You can't see it in the camera, but she does look freckles on her face. They just painted pretty cool. The eyes actually look up close like this. They look kind of terrible. Like even with my human eyesight, I'm sitting about maybe 10 inches from the figure's face. About, maybe. Like, ten, about 10 inches I am distance from the face, and I can see the weird speckle pattern on the face. Or, like, the way the eyes are painted, like, dots. That looks kind of weird. I wish they would have just painted them, like, regular eyes. I guess they do it for more detail, but it still looks kind of kind of weird. I'm going to take this head off here. I'm going to show the other head she comes with. Um, Come on, there we go. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, I'm just going to put the body back on. She looks weird with only the like the upper torso this head i don't like it as much it does have like more posability and stuff but um but the head sculpt doesn't look as good i think the toy version the toy version head sculpt i think looks better like it just like the shape of the head looks cooler the way the hood kind of goes around they sculpted the details in here they didn't paint them though this one is just painted it's painted really nicely though if i was able to uh take this head out and put it in this hood if i was to swap the heads with the hoods um, I swapped the heads and the hoods. Um, I think this head would look better in this body. I just like these kind of bigger open eyes. Because in the movie and stuff, there's parts where her eyes are like this big. Her eyelid masks or whatever. The eye masks are this big. Uh, that'd be cool if we had that kind of head. Those eye shapes on that. Or give, you know, three total heads. Give like this one. Give that one. Then give like the big open eyes. The figures not stay together because the way I customized it. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to pretend like that's not the case here. Uh, okay, I'll be back. 
Okay, I'm just going to leave my custom uh, ball joint thing on so far. So as far as the rest of the figure, there's uh, nothing really special, especially when we're talking about just the body, not the extremities here. Just all black, or like the legs are all black plastic and stuff. I'm pretty sure this part's also black plastic. This part is uh, is white, and they painted the, the color. And you can see there's like some paint messed up here and there. I was thinking of like taking a tool and kind of carving this in to make it look like that part is has some distinction to it. That's not even symmetrical there. You can see how they're not symmetrical. These two spikes look like spikes. They're not the same length or the same height. This one's a lot lower. That one's not. And this one's also thicker. Uh, that's that. That's interesting. Um, uh, but as far as the rest of the logo, it's also not symmetrical on the front either. You can see this triangle or this like, like uh, angle part is sticking out farther than this one. These two pieces are also not lined up, so that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know why they designed the shoulders to look weird like this. Like, they have, like, this sort of, like, polygonal shape, whereas Miles is, are, like, regular kind of human-shaped sh shoulders. Um, you know, people people complain about Toy Biz figures having the weird bulbous shoulders like this. But, I mean, these look weird because Hasbro doesn't do these kinds of shoulders. They do offer, like, a good movement, so, I mean, there's that. Um, as far as the arms, the elbows are really pointy as well. That's kind of weird. Um... But the, 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 the thing, the gloves here, like these, like, kind of Madonna, like, kind of looking gloves, they look cool. They're all pink, and they have this very neon blue painted over top. They're painted somewhat cleanly, except they're not in some parts where they aren't. Like, up here, they don't, they don't finish. Like, you can see this web here has one last web up there, but none of these other have web lines that connect. Other than that, they're painted cleanly. We don't really have any blue parts that overlap onto the pink, except never mind, we do. I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. I just realized that those aren't those those uh they it does overlap onto the white. The pink the blue one overlaps onto the white, which it's spoilers, it's not supposed to. Um the torso does kind of move a bit weird, but you know, offers more posability, so I'm kind of okay with that with my custom. These again also don't look symmetrical. Does this one on her right side here look higher? I think it does. On the back, yeah, they're not symmetrical again. Wow, they really screwed up. Symmet symmetricity the symmetricalness I think symmetricity is that a word I don't know the, the, as far as it being symmetrical they messed that up the shoes are painted pretty good though they painted the shoelaces and the white part of the shoe pretty good these uh the lace looking thing whatever this oh yeah those are like laces here oh it's supposed to be like this is all supposed to be one shoelace piece because for the the articulation they had to move that that's fine because if you line it up like that yeah it looks like the shoe's complete because I thought it was like she has the laces on the foot part and then, like, on the ankles, but no, it's all supposed to be one piece. Kind of like those, like, shoes that are slight boot, like, they go up to here. Um, there's not really much else going on with the figure, except the mask is painted good, and the, the lines inside the hood are painted good. I'm just not a fan of the eyes. As far as for what it looks like, it looks good. Um, the neck looks kind of weird from that angle. I didn't modify the neck at all. There's, like, some speckles there on the face. Can we wipe that off? I'm trying to see if I can wipe that off. Yeah, I can. This is also a really squishy plastic. I think this is glued onto the head. Yeah, it's glued onto the top of the head here. Because if it wasn't, I would take that off. And I would put this head in that hood. Because that hood, that hood looks pretty good. Just I don't like how high up the neck is from it. That, that's, that's definitely a bit of an issue. It's not a big issue, but it's definitely something that's there. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. It, um, she looks pretty good, you know? Aside from all of the white parts painted on the suit not being symmetrical, or like like these two lines up here, those like the spider looking fangs, I guess they are on other Spider Man's costumes, these things would be fangs. Those not symmetrical, these are not either. These up here are not, these are not. All the parts that have like white painted onto black are not symmetrical. Everything else seems to be, the eyes seem to be. Uh like the actual body parts are proportional, but just are not proportional, uh symmetrical. But that's uh that's pretty unfortunate how janky the paint apps look on this like I, I probably couldn't do any better because i don't have a steady hand and i'm also terrible at doing symmetrical stuff like if you've seen any of my customs where i cut where i do eyes they're never symmetrical i'm terrible at that kind of stuff but this is a multi-billion dollar company they shouldn't suffer the problems that i do painting a figure with paints i got from the dollar store and paintbrushes that are also from the dollar store actually no they're from walmart but you know what i mean like five dollars for like 10 brushes that kind of thing it's probably more now it's probably like 15 or 20 for 10 brushes um but either way, as far as that goes, I think it looks pretty cool. She does look good and stuff. If we go over the articulation here, this head can look up all the way. The original head can't really do anything. You can kind of just pivot it. 
Speaking of pivot, this one can't really do that. You can rotate the head all the way around. So ultimately looking up and rotating the head, the arms go up almost all the way. This torso is kind of bugging me here, but that's okay. The arm rotates all the way around. You get a bicep swivel there. You get double bend in the knee that's pinless if you care about that. I don't really care about pinless. You can uh, hinge the hand down and up or left and right depending on the angle. I think it would be left and right. Up and down would be like, like this, you know. As far as the original figure's ab crunch, she could go forward about probably that much. If we move the arms out of the way, she could go forward probably like that much. She could probably go back about that much. Mine can go back. I mean, as far as going back, not as much, but going forward, it can go forward quite a lot more. You do have this big lump here on the back, but it offers a ton more movement. Most times when I pose it, it's going to be from an angle in which you don't see the back. And that's because I use two joints. So you can see she has like this kind of wiggling here. Uh, originally, she could probably go side to side like that. Mine can go a bit more. But as, she has a lot more movement. You do have a gap there, but, you know, quite a bit more movement. Uh, as far as the legs, she can spread her legs out that far, not full splits, which she should be she should be able to. The legs get forward that high. They go back uh, a decent amount. A thigh rotation here, double bend in the knee, and then the foot go, or the ankle goes all the way up, all the way down, or all the way back, I mean, and all the way up. And then you have an ankle pivot, which is kind of bad on this one because the ankle pivot you have to you have to rotate the thigh in order for the, her legs to be spread any more than just this. Which even that she doesn't her feet aren't too flat on the ground, but that kind of works. Um, oh, and as far as accessories here, we have a lot of good ones. No, we don't. I said that with Miles, and that wasn't the case either. None of these figures come with any accessories that are worth your time, except she has an interchangeable head, which isn't that one. Um, you can change these hands that look like almost maybe going to crawl kind of hands. Um, that's fine, I guess. But, you know, like I said with Miles, interchangeable hands aren't so much an accessory. They're more of an, a necessity, so you don't just have two static hands. But Hasbro decided to crap the bed a little bit by giving you a left fist hand and a right web shooting hand, but no, no, right, no right fist and no left web shooting hand. And then you get two hands that aren't even symmetrical. I think, did I already do a review of this figure? I think I might have, actually, because I feel like I could, sw or no, when I compared her to uh, uh, Sailor Moon, the hands here, these hands you see there, that hand, her right hand, is not the same as this hand. Like, look at the way that hand looks, look at the way this one looks. They don't, I'm trying to see if I can angle this here. Those two are not the same hand shape. Yeah, those two aren't the same hand shape. It's hard to see it because the camera focuses on one versus the other. But yeah, these, these are not the same hand shapes. So technically, that's kind of wrong on the packaging. Um, but but yeah, so... Yeah, this figure is it's just okay. I think she's probably one of the best ones. Uh, probably not, though. I think my favorite out of these so far is 2099 and The Spot. Just because both of them look a lot cooler. This one still just looks like sort of a regular girl. Which, I mean, that's kind of how she looks in the movie. But this one just looks... Very much is like a kind of regular, like, skinny kind of girl in a suit. It doesn't look... I mean, that's kind of how she looks in the movie, though. But I don't know. It just looks kind of plain. 2099 and the spot definitely have more exaggerated proportions, and that looks really cool to me. Um, torso doesn't sit all the way flat. But either way, that's all for this video. Let me just think about this figure, and I will see you guys in the next review. Wow.